Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we are going to be painting a rose. So for this all you'll need is, yes you've guessed it, some 300 GSM paper. I'm using a watercolour block um, for this painting uh, and the reasons for that I'll explain a bit later on and why you should probably invest in one as well. Uh, so we're going to start off by uh, mixing together some crimson red and vermilion red. So we're not going to actually sketch um, first and this is because uh, drawing a rose is probably one of the easiest paintings you could actually create. So um, I want you guys to push yourselves and be a bit more confident and get stuck right in. So we are going to be using a rounded brush um, for this painting. So we are just going to take what we've just mixed and then add in a little bit more black uh, just to create a darker shade. Um, and as always just add in a little bit more water um, just to make the paint a bit less thick. So we are going to use our rounded brush and dip it into the bright red and we are going to start in the middle and draw small uh, sort of curves um, and these are going to be the inner petals and as we move out we are just going to press down on the brush uh, to create curved petals and as you get more to the outside uh, you can create um, different shapes of the petals and try and keep the uh, bottom line of the painting that you create a bit um, sort of flat but then the top half can be a bit more curved um, in order to show the illusion that you're looking down at a rose. And then we're going to use the darker shade uh, of red that we created to just line the bottom half of each of the petals that you've just drawn. Um, and we're going to use some water to blend this outwards um, to create a bit of depth to the painting that we've just done. So keep working uh, using that darker shade and then you just need to add a little bit more water just to blend that all out. And that's the beauty about working with gouache or watercolour is that blending is super super easy. You just need to add a little bit of water and just work with your brush. So we're going to wait for that to dry and um, whilst that's drying um, we are just going to draw some leaves if you like but if you just want to draw this rose um, that's all you need to do and that's what I'm focusing on which so I'm not going to talk through the leaves that I'm drawing. So we are now going to um, add a little bit of black and use the darker red that we created to create an, create an even darker colour and we're going to use that colour in the white spaces of the rose. Now you guys can leave this as it is um, and most of the rose paintings that you see online um, tend to do this uh, but I don't like create leaving sort of white spaces so I'm going to paint this bit in. So what we're doing is basically just using that really dark shade to paint in the white spots of the painting in the rose and this will really bring your uh, painting alive uh, and make it look a lot more realistic. So like I mentioned earlier the reason we're using a water block is because they are actually bound by glue um, on two sides and some even four and what it means is that you don't have to use any masking tape uh, to tape your paper down. Um, it just keeps the paper as it is and lets you paint until um, you're ready to remove that piece of paper. And it means that your paper won't curl up and will maintain that shape. Now as you can see what we're doing as well is just using some water to blend out the uh, really dark paint that we've just put on the paper and this makes it look a bit less um, sort of rigid and makes the colours blend in a lot more. And you can already see that the rose is really starting to look a lot more realistic than how we started it out with. Now if 
you've got paint that's collected at one part of the paper you can just use a little bit of tissue to dab that paint off and I'm just using some more of that vibrant red to add a bit more colour to this rose. So you can add leaves as well or like I said you can just leave this as it is. Now what we're going to do is create some highlights. So we're just going to add some white to the bright red and then apply that to the top half of each of the petals and this will really bring your rose uh, out of the paper as you can see here and this is a really good way of um, completing this painting. And as you can tell this is a very very short video uh, and it's because in my opinion roses are probably one of the easiest flowers to paint uh, and I hope you see that here as well and I hope it also motivates you to try this painting yourself and obviously if you do please 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 uh, tag me in it uh, because I would love to see um, what you do and um, hopefully repost some of your recreations as well. So I'm just going to finish this off by adding in a couple more leaves and obviously just wait for it to dry um, and there we have it that's our rose. So I hope you guys liked it, uh, thank you so much for joining me again on this video and I hope to see you guys very very soon in my next video. As always, please like, share and subscribe and let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Thank you so much guys, see you later.